Hi guys, Mike Moon here. This video, I wanted to explore roughly how much in February 2021 I could make using the Asus G14. Yes, I'm talking about the infamous, awesome laptop, the Asus ROG Zephyrus G14, which retails right now for $14.99. Not bad, and that is uh, with a 16 gigabyte and 1024 SSD. They do have cheaper models. It's not typically sold uh, very often outside of normal retail locations. So the one I have is this model right here. I did upgrade it. I uh, gave it more RAM, more SSD, but apparently that doesn't really matter too much. All right, so let's jump right into it. How much is it making right now as of February 9th at 1.13 p.m.? I, uh, I was curious about this because back in the day when Bitcoin was not as high as it is right now, let's see, Bitcoin, and it is now at $47,360 per Bitcoin. So before, uh, a couple of years ago, of course, uh, it didn't really make sense because Bitcoin prices were a lot lower. Let's see. They were a lot lower. Okay. So I started mining in 2016, 2017, and I mined a little bit just for fun and just to see what it was like. And I, I ended up, uh, I think mining about maybe $50 worth. I checked online. It's worth like 200 some dollars now. And, um, first, um, you should probably get a wallet. I recommend Coinbase. I have a link down below for this. Uh, set that up. This is where you can buy and sell crypto. Coinbase is one of the uh, more popular and more secure and easier to use ones where you can obviously switch between one or the other in terms of cryptocurrency. But the miner that I use is really uh, simple to use. And I was introduced this to my brother a while ago. And I that that's exa this is exactly what I use to mine. So um, I'll have a link down below for this as well. It's really easy to get up and running. Uh, make sure you have a wallet ready and uh, basically you sign up. Um, I re Again, I recommend Coinbase, but I also tried out the nice hash one too, which you could also sign up for and you could also buy and sell. It's just that Coinbase has, is a little bit more established and a uh, nice hash is really great because it runs really easily on, you know, without, I mean, you don't have to configure much of anything. Okay, so as you can see, I am doing about $3.82 per 24 hours. This will go up and down periodically throughout the day, but this is the current mining profitability. So with, within every day, which is defined as 24 hours, my G14 rig, okay, is mining $3.82 worth of Bitcoin. Now, as of right now, you know, that's, that's real money. I can convert that. Um, going into my Coinbase account, wherever I'm depositing this, um, this is my total assets under a nice hash because I just set up the account on here just to see what it was like. Um, but you know, at the end of the day or the end of 24 hours, I should technically have roughly 0 0.00008, wait, four zeros, 80073 Bitcoin, which is currently worth $3.82. Now, of course, I can go up or down depending on the markets and, uh, you know, whenever, whenever you sell, right? So um, here is the actual stats right here. Right now, uh, my this is off the rig itself. I'm just remote controlling into it. You can see it's at 0 0.06339 uh, micro bitcoins per day. I think that's micro. So that's 297. But actually, when you have that actual conversion, you get it up to here. So there's going to be a little bit off about this. So roughly around, let's just say three to four dollars a day. And then I got to subtract um, the electricity costs. So the G14 I found running at high performance mode uh, eats up to 150 watts. It'll fluctuate a little bit up and down because unfortunately, the G14 does not run a a true RTX 2060. It's not a desktop one. It's an RTX 2060 uh, Max Q, which is basically just to let you know, it's just basically designed for uh, laptops. Okay, so it's not going to be as powerful. There's not as much power going through, and you know, there's there's that whole equation between uh, heat, right, and and power. Basically, those are the things that you pretty much need to have if you're going to try to mine. Now, um, if you just download and run the software, it, it's actually pretty easy to figure out. Uh, you just go to my link over there and then just go ahead and download the uh, the app. 
And I suggest you sign up for the account. And when you do, well, you don't actually, you don't even need to set up an account. You could just put in wherever you want the money to be sent and it'll track all that. Now, it doesn't actually mine specifically Bitcoin. What it does is it mines a bunch of other cryptocurrencies and it figures out what's the most prof profitable one for you to mine at the time. Keep in mind, this is with one computer. And one of the things that I think trips some people up, and I'll just point out how to do that, is that when they install and they run it, okay, well, there's two major things. One is your antivirus is going to falsely think that this is a horrible virus and that you should eradicate it immediately. So it's going to put a block to it. So there's two things that, that um, NiceHash is going to tell you. It's going to say, hey, well, you can do two things. You can One, you can disable your antivirus and anti-security software, which is not advised. Or number two is um, allow it to detect it and then go back in there and choose to allow the... Uh, the nice hash software to run. All right. And then the other thing is a lot of people are not running it truly with administrative access. So how you do that is, um, well, you don't do it from here. So if, if you do nice hash minor, uh, sometimes you thought that you could just do run it as administrator mode by right clicking on the icon, and choosing run as administrator. Actually, what you need to do is find out the true location of where nice hash is actually installed. I'll show you exactly where that is. It's really under program files. But um, you could do what I'm doing here. And there's a little bit of delay because I'm having a bit of network issue and it's also mining at the same time. Maybe if I pause the mining, it'll be a little faster. But the key part is you need to go to the actual program itself, the executable file, the exe file, if you will, and choose to run that as the administrator. That's the way to do it uh, properly so that you don't get uh, an MRD. I believe it's called an MRD error. And when you do that, then then you can then unlock the entire um, spectrum of power from your CPU and your GPU. Okay, so that's the only way to do that. Yeah, I, I think that's one of the big failures that people get when they try to run this on their machines is um, one, the antivirus is blocking it. And number two, it, you're not giving it full control or power over your uh, CPU and GPU processing so that it can run all the code that it needs to in order to start hashing. All right, before I show you the exact steps, here's what I want to point out uh, in terms of temperatures, etc. Okay, so you're going to want to keep the temperatures under control. The G14 we know already gets kind of hot, right? Uh, typical gaming performance as, um, you know, a high-end game with max settings is going to be up to 100 degrees centigrade. So you'll want to keep this under check. Uh, keep it open. I'll have a link down below, hardware monitor or some other CPU temperature monitor and make sure that that's, nothing's going wrong because this will kill your laptop if you let it overheat. All right. And in many cases, as long as you have that under control, you're okay. But just, it's all about keeping the heat under control. All right, so as you see, I maxed out 96.5 degrees centigrade. I'm here over in the winter. I appreciate the extra heat this thing's putting out. It's, it's not going to superheat up a room, but you know the laptop does get hot, so watch out for that. So I also have a, a CPU fan cooler running underneath. I think if you vertically stand up the ASUS G14, that's going to help. And so you can get a stand that stands it up as well, and then maybe if you get a little fan thing blowing on it, that would help as well. But keep in mind that adds up uh, into your electricity costs. So instead of maybe 145 watts, it might be running at 160 watts if you're using USB uh, fan cooler on it. All right, now as you can see, my GPU actually started at, the max was 76 degrees centigrade. So that's, that's pretty cool. All right, so you gotta keep it cool. All right, now the other thing. Okay, so here's how you start up NiceHash. You install NiceHash, you're going to have it, you're going to have either recently added, you're going to have a start under your start programs, or you're going to have it on your desktop. Open a location, more, don't do run as administrator from here because that's just a shortcut. Do open file location. So that's actually this shortcut right here. Now, if you right click on a shortcut and then choose open file location again, you see that little arrow down beneath, beneath it? That means a shortcut. All right. So this is the real one that you want. So as you can see, it is under your users, your username, app data, local programs, nice hash miner. And then this is what you want to run as
as and administrators. Right click on that and click on run as administrator. You will have a shield next to the icon, I mean next to the command. That's when you know you ran it correctly. Otherwise you'll get some sort of error message. All right, so that's how you run that appropriately, just basically on any machine in case running it from the shortcut doesn't work. Now, for some people it worked, for some it doesn't. I'm running Windows 10 latest edition, all the updates, and I found that to be the case. Otherwise, you're going to get half as much money or even less money down here. So that's what you do uh, for that. Now, does this make sense? Well, think about this. All right, I'm going to start mining again right now. I paused it just so that I can regain remote control over it because it does use up all your um, processing power. Um, well, one, you're going to, obviously you're going to need power, right? You're going to need power. Uh, number two, obviously laptop. That's, that's pretty expensive at a th over a thousand, between thousand, sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars, depending on which one that you're going to get or use. And then you also need internet access. You need a solid internet access line in order to send those bits and packets back and forth, uh, for the purposes of mining and unlocking or hashing. Okay, so you need all those three going on and you need them all fairly consistently. <coughs> Excuse me. So here in Southern California, here in the winter, uh, our electricity rates may be vary. Okay, so let's say, let's say I'm running at 20, 20 cents per kilowatt hour, right? So 20 cents per kilowatt hour. So let's just say I'm averaging 150 watts. Uh, of power usage from a G14. Okay, so that's 150 watts. And then I multiply that by 24 hours because if I keep this running at 24 hours, we're going to get the probability rate. Okay, so that's 3,600, all right? 3,600 watts, which divided by 1,000, of course, we'll just do that, is 3.6 kilowatts of power to run your laptop 24 hours, okay? And then you multiply that by how much? Let's just say you're at 20 uh, cents per kilowatt hour, depending where you live. You know, some, some places, you know, electricity is included in your rent, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, some places are really cheap, like just a couple of pennies per kilowatt hour. Again, I, like I said, in California, it's really not cheap, cheap uh, compared to some other areas or some other states where they have really cheap power. So I'm looking at 72 cents consumed of power in order to mine about three to four dollars worth of uh, a Bitcoin. Okay, so 72 cents. So if I am getting, uh, let's just say I'm getting 350 a day minus, all right, 0.72. That's two dollars and 78 cents of profit in Bitcoin. Multiply that by 30. That's roughly $83 a month. Multiply that by 12. And that's $1,000 a year. Assuming that Bitcoin is at the current price right now. Now, if it increases, let's say it doubles. Right now, we're at 48000 Some people think it's going to hit up it hit at 100000 You know, um, If it does that, obviously, it, it roughly doubles. So the value that you get will double. And sure, that might... I mean, you run it con consistently for a whole year uh, and Bitcoin prices double, you'll get $2,000 back. That's not bad. Okay. But keep in mind, this is for a full, this is not the best use of your laptop or your G14, whatever it is that you purchase it for. I purchased this uh, for video editing rig. Okay. And also some video processing and encoding. And uh, uh, right up until I, I got my Apple M1. Apple M1 has all but replaced everything that I'm using on this. So that's why this is my secondary PC. A lot of times it's just sitting there idle until I need it to do some encoding or reprocessing or re-encoding. So I can afford to let this sit and run uh, for a little bit. And that's probably what I'll do. You can set up the nice hash miner on the computer itself to run only during idle times. So that's totally possible. But keep in mind, this does do additional wear and tear on your computer and your hardware, particularly for laptops. You know, you really want to make sure that it's really cool and that you have a really good hardware monitor and cooling to, to ensure that the system is staying cool. Now, if you're looking at just to get straight on uh, mining uh, rig, right, you want to get more serious about this, obviously don't use G14. This is, the this is horrible bang for the buck. Okay, you'll do a lot better 
by trying to get your hands on any of these things here. Um, it's the nice hash profitability calculator. You can get your hands on any of these and look how much that how much more you can make per day on here. Now, good luck trying to find these GPUs now with the way the Bitcoin prices are. It's out absolutely outrageous now because of Bitcoin. Um, so these are these are really hard to find. You go to a shop, you're not going to find it. eBay is probably ridiculously high. Let's just say how much an RTX 3090 is going for. Let's just say eBay. RTX 3090. 3090. Let's see how much that's going for. Oh my God, twenty six hundred dollars. Look at that. This this guy, or this the seller. That is a ridiculously high markup uh, for these uh, processing cards. But as someone told me, uh, let's see, someone told me roughly that a lot of these prices are based on roughly how much you can mine in like six months or half a year or so. So these prices are probably going to go up as long as the Bitcoin prices go up. So, you know, you got to factor all that in when you're going in. Some of some people are really lucky. They were mining in the past and they had some of these old cards and they somehow kept them around or before this whole Bitcoin thing went even crazier at almost 48,000 now. And, uh, you know, they, they put those back on and they're making money, like good, decent money. Um, again, a lot of it depends on your electricity costs and, and whatever your, your uh, maintenance costs are going to be. So if you're going to try to do this, I wouldn't recommend it on a G14. I'm doing it as a bit of an experiment, and I'm not going to be running it 24-7. I'm just going to let it run every once in a while, and particularly on cold nights when I'm not using it, and, uh, and keep an eye on it. Okay, You'll want to at least make sure that is in a relatively cool area away from direct sunlight. Of course, the coolest area that you can find because it really needs to stay cool. And every once in a while, uh, if you have air filtration, that's even better. And if not, you're going to want to make sure that the temperatures stay low. And you're going to want to make sure that you blow out any dust that gets stuck in there. Otherwise, uh, think about this. Maybe you carry your laptop in a year and you only made 1000 in crypto and your laptop costs $1,600. That is a horrible, horrible investment. That is not worth your time. Okay, so just keep that in mind before you think about doing it. That's probably why you don't see too many people posting anything about it. But I was just kind of curious, you know, with, with the way the Bitcoin prices were right now. All right, well, that's it for this video. Uh, check out my links down below. If you sign up for Coinbase and I think you actually purchase some stuff, you get some money or you get $5. Okay, you get $10 of Bitcoin. If you, if you buy or sell $100 more on Coinbase, probably a good idea to buy some Bitcoin when it goes down. Um, and, uh, at least I wish I did. And then also my nice hash link. This is where you can download and get mining. Or, you know, even if you're just a little bit curious, how much does your hardware that you have going on right now, your gaming rig, when you're not actually gaming, how much is that going to make you? Okay. And if you are thinking about getting a laptop, I'd suggest that you get a nice extended warranty. Okay. Just to cover this because you can kill laptops really quickly if you're not keeping an eye on the temperatures. That That's just going to kill it, All right? Um, it could be either quickly or slowly, but if you want to keep your laptop really long time, probably don't do Bitcoin mining. All right, that's it for this video. Please do like, subscribe for more. Thanks for listening and watching. Catch you in the next video.